Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I had a request quite a while ago to show how to use the envelope punch board. So I have the original punch board here. This is the larger one, and then I also have the mini or the small one. And I need to make an envelope, so I'm going to show you the process that I go through to make one. What I did first was I look at the card size. It has a chart here that gives you the card size and then the envelope, the paper size that you would need to make the envelope for that and then the score, the initial score measurement. And it does have directions here. So, but I decided that I'm using this for a Halloween junk journal that I'm working on and I think that a 4x5 card size would fit the page. So, I'm going to use my paper size at seven and a half by seven and a half, and then that would give me an initial score of three and three eighths. So I'm going to get my paper and trim it down to seven and a half by seven and a half. Okay, so this is the paper that I'm going to use. This is something that I printed myself on 32 pound paper. So this is not actually cardstock. I don't want it to be too stiff since it's going to be a smaller envelope so that's why I'm just using the paper and the key with these envelopes that I found and even then it doesn't work great every time but if you can get if you can cut and make sure that your paper is squared so you got 90 degree angles on the corners no crooked cuts then envelopes tend to come out much better so I'll do my best. This one needs to be seven and a half by seven and a half. And I kind of want to keep my scrap paper as much as possible because I can use it in other areas of my journal. So I'm just going to trim off these white edges and the places where I need to cut. Now let's start measuring seven and a half inches. By seven and a half. And let's hope that it's as square as possible. So this is my starting piece. And with this, when you're deciding on the paper that you're using, realize that your envelope is going to be at an angle to the paper. So your envelope is not going to be made like this. It's going to be made, the main part of the envelope is going to be in the diagonal or the diamond shape of the paper. So these sides are what are going to fold down to make your envelope. And this center part is where your envelope will fall. So you need to keep that in mind. The punch board does come with a tool for scoring and let's double check my measurements. I did the 4x5 so I'm using 7.5 by 7.5 which means I need to score at 3 and 3 eighths. So what that means is when I put my paper here, this is the score line, when I put my paper in here I need to put it at 3 and 3 eighths and it does show you where the 3 eighths is. So 3 and 3 eighths is where I need to line it up at. So, and make sure that it is flush up against the top and that you are at the 3 and 3 eighths. Now this is the part that I find difficult to do is the actual scoring here because you're kind of scoring blind. But it's not so bad with this thinner paper it seems. So that works good. So when you score and punch. Okay, so I did the score, as you can see, and did the punch. Now, I'm going to turn it around and line my score up with this little piece that sticks out right there. Line my score up with that. You're no longer worrying about the measurements. You're lining that score with the little area that pokes out right there. See that? So, 
maybe I should just zoom in a little bit with the camera <laughs> Okay, so I'm just lining that up. Well, I need to hold it up so I can see now. Okay, so I'm going to score again. And punch. Line the score line up again. Make sure everything is flush. Score. And punch. Last one. Line it up. Score. And this will show you if you get it kind of in the right place. If these score lines all meet in the little notches, then you're pretty good with keeping it square and lined up. So I did my punch. Now you can go back and use the back of the punch board to round your corners. These are just the pieces that we just punched out on the sides. Now I'm going to go back and round the corners. Just putting the corners in here and punch. Okay, so now it's just a matter of folding and and burnishing your folds where you scored at. Let's get these pieces of paper out of the way. So yes, this is much easier with a thinner paper. It's a little more tough to do with um, cardstock. So what I would do is put some adhesive here, and like this would be my top flap. I don't like. The angle that it's at but I didn't have a whole lot of control over that because of the way it was printed so I'm just going to add a little glue to seal up my envelope I probably shouldn't have put any in the middle piece right there yeah okay well, let's see what size it comes out to be it is about five and three eighths or five and a quarter let's round it on off to four and a quarter which is I guess is a good size to fit a four by five so this is the finished product and we'll try another one with the small punch board I have a piece of black vellum it's kind of got like a shimmer to it so I'm going to use this to make the envelope and I think I'm going to go with, let me see how much vellum I have first. So it's about six by seven ish. So I don't want to go too big. So I'm going to do three by three and a half, which means I need to cut my vellum at five and a quarter by five and a quarter. So let's do that. And since the rotary trimmer seemed to do pretty well, let's try that again. Put this in here, and for that size, we need to score at two and three quarters. So this one also comes with a score tool. I'll use this one. It's a little small for me, but let's try it. So again, that was two and three quarters. This is, oh, I don't know if that's too close. So two and three quarters. That is right here. So then we do it the same way. Score 
and punch. Then we line the score mark up. Probably need to get a little closer for this one. Score. And punch. Turn around, line the score up with the little prong there. Score. And punch. I don't know if I had that one lined up right. And score. And punch. So this is the shape that we end up with. I'm going to go ahead and round my corners just like we did before. Just doing our fold and burnish. So then I'm just going to add the adhesive. And there is our envelope. So now it's just a matter of cutting the card size that I need for it. I can add some decoration to it or whatever I want to put on it. And it should work perfectly. So this one is from the large punch board and this one is from the mini. And with the mini you can go down to as small as an inch by inch. So it goes from one by one to four by four card size. With the large one, it goes from two by three and a half, which is gift card size, all the way up to six by eight and a half. So that's it. I hope that helps. If you were having problems with the punch board or if you were thinking about getting one, they are quite handy. Even my children like to use them. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.